it is Michael Mondays. Happy July. It's not July. <gasps> it's August. Happy July. Ah. Happy August 5th. I keep wanting to say July. <sighs> Welcome back for week four of FTM Transformers. This week's topic, binders. Hence the title of, no, not hence the title. This week's theme is pets. Yes, this is sushi. Do you feel trapped in your binder? Because I do sometimes. You always need to be wearing it all the time, every day, which is why the song fits, even though the lyrics don't really, because it's about a girl, but, yeah. <laughs> if you watch my, my personal channel, you will see that I already have an overly long three-part video series on binders. I'll put a link, a link up here. I do bind. Very nice thing. It works very well for me. I have a tri-top binder. Um, it's the only kind I've ever gotten. One layer on the back and three layers on the front. So you can breathe in it. If there's a breeze and you're wearing a regular shirt or whatever, you know, like you know, breathe in. It's like when it's like really cold. I really like it. So this way you're not sweating. Like there's not sweat dripping down your back. Um, if you live in a warmer environment. Um, so I really like it. It comes to uh, mid-length. On me, it depends on how long your torso is. So on me, it comes to like an inch above my belly button. He isn't even our cat. He just lives in our garage. All he does is literally he sleeps and he catches birds and he brings them into the garage and he leaves them for us because he thinks he's a good hunter. It's really good if you are bigger chested because it's got three layers instead of most binders only have two layers, two, one or two layers. Um, but it's bad if you're like a bigger guy physically and it'll like roll up on your stomach a little bit. For me, it doesn't roll up that much at all. It rolls up like, like barely like I don't no one notices it I don't notice it it doesn't bug me um if you have more of a stomach then you have to roll up more because now they're longer wearing my binder is pretty much the time the only time when I can be like completely comfortable with myself you know it allows me to go do what anything because I can go do whatever I need to do and not have to worry about other people Usually I don't look down, usually it's like if I'm walking past a, a store or something and I just like, you know, look in the mirror and I'm just like, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, good. This is my dog, Murphy. Murphy, say hi. Murphy, look. Murphy, Murphy, where's Mama? Where's Papa? Huh? Where are they? Go, go for Go, go for What? What? She wants to go for a ride. Oh, we're not going for a ride. Oh, ho, ho. Murphy. Murphy, give kiss. 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 Oh, he doesn't want to. Kiss. Oh, good kiss. That's a good boy. I know a lot of guys aren't, but I'm perfectly fine without my binder if I'm at home. <laughs> if I'm in my house and I'm not going to see anyone 
which I don't see anyone anyway. Buy my, like, I don't sleep in it, because that's very bad for you. Don't sleep in your binder. It's bad. To all you first-time binders out there, as I'm sure you probably should already know, there are three things you need to know if you've never binded before. One, don't use ace bandage. Two, don't use ace bandage. And three, don't use ace bandages. They are meant to compress, but not just compress, to compress tighter each time you breathe or you, you like you, a muscle pulses. It's meant to compress more. And you don't want constant, you don't want it to be like a constrictor that, you know, squeezes, asphyxiates you to death. So don't use that. Find something else. And if you are using these bandages, you better make sure you take a couple breaks during the day. Take it off. Put your arms above your head, because that opens up your rib cage and whatnot. And just <sighs> take some deep breaths, you know. Almost everyone uses um, underworks. For binders, underworks.com, I'll put a little link up here. Um, because they have pretty cheap binders. They're, um, I think they're 29 for standard, and then they're like 39 or 42 for, um, plus sizes. Um, if you're doing through underworks, make sure you do their sizing correctly. If it's your first time binding, don't get a size smaller than what it says you are. If you're between sizes, get the bigger one because you can really hurt yourself during your first time. Um, wash your binder. Wash it. It make it makes it last longer. It keeps the elasticity more. Because um, the more you wear it, it gets worn out and stretched and whatnot. So, if you wash it, it's better. I don't recommend putting it in the dryer on like high heat or anything. Um, because mine shrunk this way instead of like, you'd be like, oh, I'll just put it in the dryer and it'll shrink a size. No, it shrinks like lengthwise and then you get jacked up and you're screwed over and you have to buy another one. This is my youngest dog. His name is Kai. Okay. Kai. Kai, where's your frisbee? Frisbee? What's that? Frisbee? Go go for a run. Wanna play frisbee? Wanna play frisbee? Where is it? Where is it? Where is your frisbee? People find it difficult to take on, take off and put on binders. So I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna put you, don't. I'm gonna teach you how to put it on and take off your binder. This is your binder. Make sure you've got it on the right way. To put it on, put one arm through. Put your head through. Hold the bottom. Find it. Put your arm through. Find the bottom. Pull down. Bam! You're in your binder. And then all of a sudden, oh crap, your mom's coming. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, mom. What you talking about? So if you didn't see that, um, what I did was... What I did was I took my shoulder out, like this, put my shoulder in, arm out, use my elbow, like that, hold it off. So yeah, that's how you get in and out of your tri-top binder. So yeah, thanks for tuning in for week four of FTN Transformers. I will see you guys next Monday. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, all that good stuff. See you around.